Carl and Damon here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life, GBHBL.com for sure. And it's They Made What into a TV series, Final Fantasy Unlimited, Episode 6, Keegan Arts, The Saviour of Souls. What? What? Find out. That's what we're here for. We're going to talk it through as we always do. Because we pick up where the gang haven't arrived, they've arrived at a new destination and are unsure of where they are. Obviously, it's going to be every time. You don't know where you are. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Lisa points out that they need to explore each station as it's likely you and I's parents came this way. And I was like, boom! And that's how you do episode by episode. Yeah, exactly. Levels. Yeah. You then announces he has named Chocobo. He's given him a name. Yep. Choby. I was like, okay, then. Yeah. Imaginative. Straightforward, yeah. Yeah. Cue the opening credits. Fabula is here afterwards to give us a short recap of the previous episode, talking of faces, before announcing the episode. Okay now, it seems that a gang in some sort of desert area with flames shooting out of holes. Banging! This is what I love. Yeah. Is that you've got, a, you've got a, like a, a blank canvas. Mm -hmm. So it's like, all right, well, all right, we haven't done the desert area yet. What's different about it? What if it's just got fire shooting out of holes straight into the sky? All right. It's, it, 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 <sighs> they, they, they can do so much with it because literally every stop could be whatever they want. Whatever they want, yeah, blank yeah. canvas, mm -hmm. paint whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, but they're looking around, they quickly realise, well, look, no one's likely to live here, mm -hmm. so let's not bother to do that. But turning around, they find the entrance to the subway has disappeared under the sand. The sand shifts quickly. So forced to trek with no destination in mind, I is disheartened and Lisa works and encouraging her to carry on. I points out that Lisa's quite focused on finding her parents, something that makes Lisa a little uncomfortable. Like, why do you, you know, why are you so focused on yeah. finding our parents? Maybe someone's more than we are. Yeah, she, she, she knows more than she's given on. Of course, yeah. Lisa's the big mystery, isn't yeah. she? At the Duke's place, the ruler wants to know where Mackenzie has gone and throws a tantrum regarding the Black Wind still being alive, a.k.a. Kaze. Mm. Once again, we see that Fungus survived, and I was kind of like, ah, no one's going to die in this <laughs> show, are they? Yeah. Not really. Herba, the flower villain, because I'm beginning to learn these people, yeah. the flower villain, offers to go and find out where Kaze is and what he's up to. Okay. In the desert, Chobi has given up and you wants to give him water. Something Lisa is against for some reason. Mm. Now, I thought, I, right? She even calls, like, Ch Chobi an animal. And I was like, where's this? Uh, Whoa! She's, she's like, yeah, she doesn't yeah. want to give the... We're well, not giving the animal water <laughs> and that kind of thing. But it is for a reason. Yeah. Because immediately Chobi smells water and runs off. They find an oasis. And Lisa reveals this is why she denied him water. Like, don't give him water. He's an animal. He's got a stronger sense of smell. If there's water here, he'll find it, and that'll be for that's what we need. I, I was like, oh shit, I, that's good. Can I just be like the the the, 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 the like sort of devil's advocate? Go on. You know, she's got a podgy pocket. Podgy pocket. Give me a give me a, a, a bottle of water. <laughs> you know, it would give her whatever she wants. You know, All right. Yep. Yeah. I'm right. No, nope, that's not in play. There's okay. That is that is logical as yeah, yeah. fuck. You're absolutely right. Uh, push pocket. Can you give us as much water as we need to survive? Oh, podgy pocket. Well, g g give me a map to show me where my parents are. So, <laughs> we had yeah. that before. Yeah. <laughs> As they have fun in the water, we see Herbert in her ship being all poison ivy-like, mm. I thought. Yeah. She's struggling to find cars here, but does come across Lisa and the kids. She launches a crystal, and from it, a tree with big seeds grow. These fall off and transform into monsters, forcing our group to run for their lives. And I was a bit like, where's cars there to do this Megan shit? This is how this normally goes, yeah, right? It is coming, yeah. What's this, though? Lisa, using water to destroy some of them. So she does have some she, form yeah, of skills. Yeah. More monsters are in pursuit, though, and Chobi ends up knocking the kids off a cliff into some water. Mm. As the monsters bear down on Lisa, she reflects on her training, and we flash back to her having some intense water-based training. This, though, has allowed Herbert to get the jump. Herbert to get the jump on her, though, and she's captured in vines. Herbert plans to feed Lisa to her creatures, and as the kids try to find a way to save her, happily, they have poshy pockets. <laughs> But it ends up spitting out loads of seemingly useless items. That's the, I think that is one of the things that is a problem with Poshy yeah. Pocket. Is it may can't interpret what you maybe need. Exactly. Yeah, you, you've got to be very, very specific. Yeah. yeah. One which scares Chobi though, resulting in him running off for the kids pursuing. One of Herb's monsters gets in front of the know and it's not looking good. Who might save them? I was just like, where is he? Yeah. <laughs> where is he? He's going to come wandering along. But it's about Lisa. She remembers more of her training. Something about spirits and something called Keegan Arts. She, at Lisa, she, she, she reminds me kind of like like Garnet. She, she's like a white mage. Sort of like she's got, she got the ability of like healing and stuff like that. You know. Okay. That's, 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 what, that's what, I, what I get from her. Throat. Okay. Well, this seems to awaken powers and she's able to escape her bonds and protect the kids. But Herbert isn't going to let it go though and sets more monsters on them. Lisa's training basically talks of many spirits. 
And this encourages Lisa to call upon more, setting the water on fire. And I mentioned Keegan Arts here, and I was like, oh, she knows about that as mm. well. So I get, I got the impression it's basically using the spirits, the na natural spirits of the yeah, world, the earth, yeah, to yeah. like of each like um, the live stream. Yeah, 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 yeah in a yeah, way, yeah, yeah. but more like, more like from the different elements. Mm. So water, earth, fire, and so on, and how to use them in balance with others. Because mm. in theory, fire and water are, are opposites. Yeah, of course. But yeah. This Keegan Arts allows her to balance it in some way. Uh, it's about being one with nature, almost to yeah, a certain yeah. degree, and getting the balance right with the flow of the spirits. Mm. Herbert decides to do one after seeing this. Yep. And Lisa remembers that the fact that S F Sid said the water had a certain type of energy in it. So this calls back to the previous episode where yeah. Sid had mentioned the water had an energy to it, which could power things. But all basically, in so many words, it's kind of fuel. Yeah. Fuel, yeah. yeah. Which is why it burns like crazy. Mm. This is why it's gone on fire. Something about using Keegan Arts before reading the spirit of the water of Wonderland. So she didn't read the spirit properly. Yeah. And that's why it's kind of gone up in flames. Uh, something happens that results in eye, for eye for falling in water. I didn't even... I don't know what happened there. No, no, it doesn't show it. No, it come back on, yeah. But we cut the cars here arriving to see Lisa and you trying to revive her. She appears to be dead as Lisa does chest compressions. I was like, yeah, all right. You won't kill fungus off. No. But you're going to kill off one of the kids. No. Or episode. Chobi alerts from the Herbers returning monster. But Kaze is here and that pleases Herbert. Hilariously, Kaze's mug and doesn't work. Mm. And he's eating. And I was like, this is different. Yeah, he's yeah, eating. Yeah. Lisa now connects to the spirit energy of nature and asks for help in saving I. Something that seems to work as she's revived. Wow. Yeah. What a shock. They're still not out of trouble, though, as the monsters arrive and Lisa thinks she has to transform into spirit energy to defeat them. But that's seemingly something that will kill will kill her or leave the kids alone. That's what I, I, So, yeah, yeah. obviously, it's like a big thing. Uh, I reckon eventually we might see that. Yes, yeah. No need, though. Because, of course, inside one of the monsters, Kazu's magan finally starts to work. And he starts the same process as always. And he's able to blast his way out and kill the monsters. Defeated, Herba slinks off and Kaze disappears mm -hmm. does what he does turns up comes and goes that's him yeah the, the whole like the, the gun the gun moves the gun does, it's, 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 it's like pick and chooses who wants to fight at, at the time I don't know yeah it seems yeah. to be some sort of power that needs a relation thing because there are more times we'll see going forward where it doesn't work and so on it's about shifting. It's moving. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I, I, don't, honest, I don't. I don't really understand yeah. it. I mean, I, 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 I still like the summons. I, I mean, even though the summon was one that I've not heard of, so it might have been from a game of the page. Yet. Oh, but there's plenty of Final Fantasy yeah, yeah, that from the earliest ones that I'm not that familiar with to more of the later yeah, ones. One well, to six. No, it's only ever going to be stuff that's earlier. Mm. One to six. I've not played so. Um, well, played six. Mm. Six is one of the is an amazing Final Fantasy game. Play mm. it on mobile and stuff like that if you ever get the opportunity yeah. to actually play it. Um, I'm trying to think when. What would have been the last? Nine. Would have been nine. Maybe mm. ten? Well, because uh, the, uh, the uh, Ixion is from ten. Yeah. Uh, he, he was so ten it. might have been the last yeah, before. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So anything later than that, mm. we wouldn't really get in it. But anyway, everything's, everything's calm now. And they agree to carry on looking for the kids' parents. But the ground starts to shake and they fall into a hole. And that's how the episode ended. I was mm. like, oh, we've just done a cliffhanger. <laughs> Like, that's an yeah, actual flow-on yeah, 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 thing. Yeah, that's yeah. not really happened yet. Did, Normally, the episode has an ending point. Did they die? Ghost train, whatever like that. Did they die? Yeah, no, no, did they die? Yeah, that's it. It's, 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 a, <laughs> it's a Mortal Kombat Conquest special <laughs> yeah, where everybody yeah. just dies and that's how it ends. <laughs> you know, still insane. Uh, this was cool. This was cool. Mm -hmm. I like the visual area. Yep. Um, all right, the fight with Herbert isn't very good and it kind of goes the same way. Mm -hmm. But we do develop more about Lisa here. And I like that. And it's like, okay, so Lisa's, you know, we're learning more and more each episode by episode about Lisa, mm. you know? I don't think she's a villain. I don't think she's got some ulterior motive no, no, no. or anything like that. But it's interesting to sort of get, oh, so she's not completely useless. Mm -hmm. Because at the moment, we are just relying on they run into trouble, Kaze comes and saves them. Yeah. And that, I think the writers knew that was going to be run out of steam. Yeah, yeah. So we kind of need to give Lisa... The ability to protect as well. It's, it, it, it's hard to make a TV series on a game where basically you do a lot of fights and you, you and unless you're crap, you always win the fights. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's hard to make in a TV series. I don't know. It's, it's not going to be after where Kaze gets his. Obviously, there were times where he lost. He lost a fight against the bloody. I can't remember the name now. The, uh, the big, Mackenzie. Mackenzie, yeah, Mackenzie. He, lo he lost that fight there. So there will be times. But yeah. Most of the time, they're going to win. Of course, yeah. absolutely. And that's not a problem, as long as it's done in an interesting way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it develops the story. And I still feel like we're developing a story here. Mm -hmm. We are up to episode six, and I would say 
we are we we still not fully fleshed out. Like I still there's still many unanswered things, yeah. not questions because I, I I'm talking about the vein, mm. the overall thing. So what do we have? We have the two kids in Wonderland. So Wonderland, this world appeared, the connection to it, and how to get there appeared on these two pillars, light and darkness, and a light being and a dark being for for whatever reason. Yeah. That's a confusing part to me. But Wonderland makes a lot of sense. A constantly shifting place mm -hmm. that you can visit and explore and potentially offer up technology or secrets that you could bring back to the human world and yep. so on. Their parents went there, disappeared. Mm -hmm. Easy to follow that. Yeah, They're no right. searching for them. Lisa is the confusing part because we're not. that's what we're not quite clear on. Mm -hmm. Why is she there? What's her purpose? Um, and why does it seem to be so many different things? Yep. Kaze... It seems to be, I wonder, because ultimately they're the rep I think Kaze and McKenzie, Black Wind, uh, White Mist, yeah, yeah. they're the representation. It wouldn't surprise me, it wouldn't surprise me, this is going to be a, an out there prediction, if they're the human or physical representations of those original two mm -hmm. dragons. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because of the colour scheme and the black and white yeah, and stuff like that. Because well, obviously, uh, at the start, obviously, well, we, we, you instantly thought like, that's, that, that's Vincent. But mm. it's not Vincent. We, 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 know, we know. But obviously, he has the presence of the, uh, the look of Vincent. Oh, it's just that vibe. It's yeah, just yeah, that vibe, yeah, vibe, really, yeah, more yeah, than but, anything but it's, else. It's but it's, it's just not, not, not that kind of relation. No. The only thing that confuses that is Kaze's flashbacks of saying goodbye to a woman. Yeah. That kind of thing and mm. so on. We'll get to that. Yeah. But we've got Earl, Earl Tyrant, who's basically the ruler of Wonderland. Yeah. Um... With his uh, generals, his lords mm. underneath him. Um, is, is he a child, do you think? So he, he comes across as a child. We, what, the old tyrant? Yeah. He is, but it's kind of like... Again, I'm trying to think what can use as a good example. Mm. Think of, um, actually, use Final Fantasy IX and the Queen and that. Yeah, uh, yeah. How she is. Yeah, do you know what I yeah. mean? Like, mm. he is a child, but he's still a ruler. Mm. And we see that when he gets angry and all that. I Not feel. the tantrums. There is power behind mm. him. It's just a Final Fantasy imaginative yeah, kind yeah. of way of doing <coughs> things. So we are kind of getting there, but we're we're about to come up, coming up. We're about to throw a massive, like not span on the works, a shift. Yeah. But I guess we'll talk about that when yeah, we next yeah, do. Yeah. yeah, really. This was Keegan Arts to save our souls, episode six of Final Fantasy Unlimited. You got any thoughts you want to share? You know what to do? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button it is gratefully appreciated you can find us over at gbhbl.com our full website where reviews news and so much more goes up daily we're also on all social media platforms facebook instagram twitter threads at gbhbl just search for gbhbl and you will find us out there we also have merchandise on sale you can access the shop via the website